Wimax with the Rover Puck from Clear. There's a new way for consumers to connect with the internet. For most of the past decade, consumers in most countries have had just four ways to connect our own LANs and PCs to the worldwide internet. One of four, we could use an old-fashioned analog modem. Or two of four, there was DSL. Or three of four, there were, there were cable modems. Or four of four, satellite connections. And each of these brings its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Notice now that I did not include Wi-Fi in that list. That's because Wi-Fi, all by itself, cannot get your PC all the way to the worldwide Internet. Wi-Fi is strictly a local networking tool, limited in range to just a few hundred feet. And unless some router or some other computer within that Wi-Fi range is configured to share their Internet connection through an Internet service provider, Wi-Fi just cannot get you there. But during the past few years, the wireless networking industry has been quietly working on a new kind of wireless network with a range of several miles. And internet service providers are now offering true long-range wireless internet service in many major metropolitan areas. In the United States, at the time of this writing in 2011, more than 50% of the population now lives within range of practical, affordable WiMAX connections that compete in both cost and performance with both DSL and cable internet connections. In theory, WiMAX offers a range of 50 kilometers. That's about 31 miles. At those long distances, bandwidth is limited to about 1 megabit per second. At shorter ranges, say under 1 kilometer, higher speeds, up to 40 megabits per second, are possible when conditions are optimal. Future versions of WiMAX will be even faster with bandwidths approaching 1 gigabit per second. At the time of this publication in 2011, practical implementations of WiMAX offer bandwidths between 1 and about 8 megabits per second throughout most major metropolitan areas in the United States of America. These implementations are based on what they call mobile WiMAX, which has been standardized as recommendation 802.16e by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, or the IEEE. To test WiMAX, I purchased a Rover Puck, portable WiMAX to Wi-Fi adapter from Clearwire Corporation, the sponsors of the popular new Clear WiMAX server. This little device has both WiMAX and Wi-Fi radios inside. When it's within range of one of Clearwire's WiMAX internet service provider stations, it automatically makes a WiMAX connection with their subscription sign-up service converts their sign-up website to Wi-Fi signals, which it then offers from its own internal Wi-Fi access point. I can connect to that Wi-Fi access point from any of my Wi-Fi equipped PCs or laptops or tablets in the usual way, as if I were connecting with any other Wi-Fi network. I found the device fairly easy to hook up. It comes in a cardboard box, which I found at a big box electronics store that gave a, a brief discussion, a brief description of what I've got here. And inside, I found a quick start guide. There are various little tiny LEDs on the device and little tiny switches, um, which, once you get accustomed to, to what they really mean and how they work, give you a pretty good indication of what's going on here. Let's take a look at it in detail. 